Okay, good morning guys. Oh my gosh, I look very awful. Um, maybe let's put our sunglasses on. Okay, that's a little better. Um, hi, good morning. Welcome to a what I eat in a day. It's Monday and I, as you might be able to tell, am in the grocery store parking lot. I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a while, so I figured that it would be kind of fun this week since I'm doing all the like planning and prep and stuff for the week today. I don't know about you guys, but I love going to the grocery store on Monday morning. It's currently 9.43 and I just like got up and worked for like two hours and then came to the grocery store and there's like no one here. So I really prefer coming on like a Monday morning as opposed to a Sunday when I feel like everyone else is going to the grocery store. So anyways, about to pop over to Starbucks real quick and get a matcha. But when I get home, I will show you what I got. Thought I would just quickly go through what I got for the week. So we have, these just looked really tasty to me, so I got them. Cauliflower, I am using this for my lunch recipe, which I'll show you later. Broccoli, I am using this for I'm making a vegetable pot pie, I think tonight. And then I feel like there was another recipe I was going to use this for as well. Some milk, which I really don't normally get milk, but the pot pie recipe, I think it is um, called for it. I got some chickpeas, cause I was thinking maybe I'll use this in the pot pie or maybe in my soup I'm making or maybe I'll just use them another time. Doesn't hurt to have chickpeas. Um, I also got some kombucha, which I don't normally get, but blood orange, carrot, and ginger sounded really delicious. And so I thought maybe I would see what all the hype is about. And then, oh wait, broccoli was also for um, this spaghetti squash recipe, which I got obviously a spaghetti squash for. I made this last week. It's a like sesame, and broccoli spaghetti squash. It was so good. And I think it's gonna become one of our new like staple recipes cause it was delicious and very easy to make. I also got two onions cause I use onions in like every recipe. So got those. I got some like pre like cut green beans to put in the pot pie recipe. I got some Brussels sprouts to make Brussels sprout tacos, which I have a recipe for, I will link. I got some yogurt, I got three of these. I just like stock up on them when I go to the grocery store because I have it for breakfast every morning. So it doesn't hurt to have some extras in the fridge just in case. Some potatoes for the pot pie some vegetable broth for both my soup and I think the pot pie. I need wild rice for this soup that I'm making and literally the only one I could find at Harris Teeter was this like ready to eat one. So I got that for the soup. Um, mushrooms to add to my soup that I'm making for lunches. I got a zucchini because we are having the Trader Joe's um, asparagus risotto one night this week. And what I do is I take, make that as the base and I'll add like zucchini, onion, and um, impossible sausage, which I have in the freezer. And it just makes it like a much more filling, well-rounded meal. I got two bell peppers because I've been obsessed with um, specifically red bell peppers and hummus that has been like my go-to snack recently and I have some hummus in the fridge already so got that and then the last thing is a bag of frozen blueberries because I was out of them and I have them every morning with my breakfast so that's my little grocery haul and then I've got my Starbucks matcha guys I I am addicted to these I cannot stop drinking them <laughs> like every time I go out I'm like, well, I'm kind of close to a Starbucks. Maybe I should just get a matcha. They're so good. I cannot replicate it at home. I don't think they sweeten it at all, but I think that the powder must have some sort of sugar in it because 
It's just so good. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I will show you my breakfast. All right, time for breakfast. If you've watched my what I eat in a day in the past, you will know. This is what I have every morning. It's some um, yogurt, the so, this one, the so delicious plain coconut yogurt. Um, and then some peanut butter mixed in there and then some blueberries, raspberries, and a couple little mini chocolate chips on top. So I'm gonna go eat this and I'll check in later. It is lunchtime. I am going to make this creamy cauliflower wild rice soup from a blog called Running on Real Food. Um, I just found this on Pinterest, so I'll share the recipe down below. I'm very much enjoying soup. I mean, I'm always enjoying soup, but particularly now that's getting a little colder, I'm just wanting to try like new soup. So I've never tried this one before. We'll see how it turns out. Um, I do have a meeting that I have to like listen in on. So I'm gonna cook the soup while I listen to the meeting and I will check back in when I'm done. The soup is complete. I added some mushrooms to it. And I also, you were supposed to like take half of it out and put it in a blender, but I just used like my immersion blender and just like half blended it instead. So it's maybe a little bit of a different texture than it would normally have been. But yeah, it took a little long to make. I would say it took like an hour to make, which is a little uh, long for my liking, but we shall see how it tastes. Okay. Let's give this a taste. I do feel like I ruined the texture a little bit with my <laughs> blending method, but. Mm. That's good. I, I don't know what I was expecting it to taste like. I think I was expecting it to taste a little creamier and I wouldn't say it tastes creamy, but it is tasty. Yeah, I like it. Hey guys, so lovely lighting here. Um, I'm currently laying on the floor uh, with my feet on the bed like so because so we are building currently building a I can't stop like looking at myself in the screen. We're currently building a patio. When I say we it's mostly Sam but I'm helping where I can. So this weekend, we basically like dug out this huge area, not huge, but area of our yard. Um, and so yesterday I was doing a lot of digging. Apparently I was not lifting with my legs. I was lifting with my back because my back, my lower back is in quite a lot of pain today. So yeah, this helps your this helps like loosen your lower back. I Like I said, I'm laying on the floor and my legs are up on the bed and then I have a towel like rolled up under my lower back. So <laughs> anyways, it's like, I'll probably start making dinner sometime soon, but I'm gonna lay here and read a chapter of this while I stretch my back. <laughs> All right, tis dinner time. I'm eating some white cheddar popcorners and I'm going to make the vegetable pot pie. I thought I had puff pastry, but it ended up actually being phyllo dough. So I'm going to use the biscuit topping from one recipe and the like insides from another recipe. We'll see how it turns out. I'll link both of the recipes below. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to cook that now and snack on these. It is done. 
I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty delicious. So I ended up using this recipe as a base, Nora Cook's Biscuit Topped Chickpea Pot Pie, except there's no chickpeas. <laughs> I kind of just used the biscuit topping, except I made it not vegan and just kind of put whatever I wanted <laughs> on the inside. So it has like broccoli, potatoes, green beans, peas, corn, onion, uh, I think that's it. A little bit of carrots. So yeah, we'll see how it tastes. Well, it's the next day. <laughs> I'm so bad at ending these videos. Um, yeah, I totally forgot to end the video last night. The pot pie was really good. Um, I was happy with that. Like I said, I kind of like took my own liberties, but I will put the link of the recipe that I like based it off of below. Um, it was pretty filling, so I actually didn't end up eating any dessert. So yeah, that was that. That was what I ate yesterday. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you like these kind of like more casual videos. I like filming stuff like this, so I'm happy to do them or something like them more often. But yeah, um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you next time. Bye.